Hey guys, what's up? This is Phil from iPodTouchBall.com. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Today is going to be a tutorial and an update, but I'm going to do the update at the end of the video, so make sure you watch it all the way for that. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this cool little weather and calendar deal on the top of your springboard. You see there's icons, and there's a calendar and the weather. Now, before I get started, I do want to give a shout out to First Shift Trans. He's the guy that originally made a video on this. He doesn't have that many subscribers. He's at, I believe, at the time I'm recording this video, 180 something, 170 something. Uh, but he definitely deserves way more than he has. So definitely go ahead and check him out. Um, his newest video, actually, is on how to do this. This is my iPhone. And as you see, this is my first page of my home screen because that's my lock screen right here. All right, guys? That's the first page of my home screen. He has a you have a big clock and a big calendar and the weather -ish, weather stuff. And you could also use this right here to get back to your normal springboard. So I believe this is really cool. If you want to learn how to do this as well as a lot of other customization stuff on your iPhone or iPod Touch, definitely subscribe to his channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this though with the calendar and the weather on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then I'll get started with the rest of this tutorial. Alright, so as you see, I removed it, and let's get on with the process. Step one, I've already done, but I kind of masked it over here. Basically, what we're going to need to do is create blank icons. So what you want to do is open up Cydia. Then you want to go into search, and you want to search something called iBlank. I-B-L-A-N-K. iBlank. And you want to go ahead and fully have it installed and everything. I've already installed it, as you can see. And then what you want to do is after it's done installing, you want to go ahead and open it. But first, count how many pages of Springboard you have. So I have one, two, three, four, right? So I would have to make 16 blank icons since I have four icons per page. And I have four pages. So four times four is 16. So you would go in the I blank and whatever number of icons you need to make, you would make them by pressing the buttons. So if you had to make 32, let's say you do 16 twice. If you needed to do a certain number, you know, just just make as many icons as you need. Then when you hit the home button, it will respring your device. I've already have mine all made though. Then you want to put it all, all these blank icons on top of the regular icons to where you have a skipped top row. Like so. Alright, now that's step one. For the next step, we will need a computer, so I will switch over to my computer so I can finish up the process. Alright guys, so after you have that much done with the blank icons using iBlank like you've seen I've done already, now what you're going to need to do is download the link in the video description and extract it. It'll give you this folder called First Weather. Okay guys? So after you have that, go ahead and open up First Weather okay and you'll get three things you'll get a config javascript file widget firefox document and widgets folder open up the widgets folder and you'll have all of this uh, all these folders you want the one that says configs open up configs and you'll see digital clock calendar SB and weather you want to right click on the weather dot config and open it up in any um, kind of program that will edit this so like notepad will um, anything like that uh, dreamweaver I use notepad plus um, plus I will once again have a link in the video description to your right for notepad plus plus okay guys so just go ahead and open that up here now what you want to do once you have that open in whatever program you want to scroll all the way down and you'll get right here where it starts saying um, two the uh, two ways to set up your location and all that stuff and you'll see var local and you'll have a city and a state you can change this to wherever you live to get your own weather but I'll just for the sake of this video do Miami Florida or Miami FL okay for Miami Florida or you could also do um, spell it out if you wanted to I'm gonna spell it out alright and you get Miami Florida and I'll go ahead and capitalize that. Alright. And basically, if you want, you can change other things, but that's all that I recommend you change. So yeah, just leave it like that. Then go ahead and hit save up here at the top, 
and then you can go ahead and close out of Notepad++. Then you have your files done, basically. Now you can go ahead and put it onto your iPod or iPhone. So you can do this via FTP, you can SSH it, or you can do the method that I will be using in this video. I'm using a different program than usual. I usually use WinSCP, but right now, but I'm going to be using a video um, program that I found a while back. It basically does the same thing, except it does it over a wire. It is called Discade. So go ahead and check out Discade if you want a really cool program for for getting into your F, your iPod uh, via FTP and without a Wi-Fi connection. And also, you don't need to um, actually download OpenSSH. It's just an automatic type kind of browser. Yeah, iTunes is being kind of weird right now. Um, I'll just ignore it for now, or I'll just go ahead and don't download. No, stop. Leave me alone. I don't like you, iTunes. All right, here we go. So now you have Discade open. You can go ahead and navigate to your themes folder. So you go to private, various, or var. It's really various. And then you can go, and once you're in private, Various, which I think I just got out of for some reason. Various. There you go. Scroll down to stash. Alright. And you're going to drop that folder, the first weather folder, into the themes part in stash. So right here. So just drag that right there. It says this, it, mine says it already contains one because I already have it installed on my phone, but I'm just going to hit OK. I mean, yes. Or on my iPod, I'm sorry. So, just wait for that. Alright, we're done. Go ahead and exit out of that. And now I'm going to go ahead on my iPod and actually enable it. You enable it via Winterboard. And you'll see it right there. It's called um, First Weather. Go ahead and select it. And hit the home button. My iPod's going to disappear. I'm going to wait for it to finish uh, respringing before I bring it back. Right now it's respringing because I put something on a winter board, of course. It is almost done. All right, now reconnect. Accept. Okay. So now the slide to unlock. And as you see at the top, there we have our new calendar and weather. Um, you could also put on a theme for your actual icons and stuff. It won't mess it up in any way. Like I had my. I had this theme on before. I'm gonna it's gonna disappear again. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put that back on. I'm just gonna show you that it doesn't matter if you have a theme on or anything; it won't mess with it. So yeah, real VNC, VNC viewer, and run VNC viewer. Okay, accept. Okay, so now we're back with that. And as you'll see, I have a theme on it, and it's not doing anything with the um, the top, the uh, calendar, or the weather. So yeah, guys, this is just a quick little tweak. Make sure you check out First Shift Trans. He does great videos on YouTube. He uh, is the one that originally made the video on this. I just thought I'd get it to a little wider of an audience. And uh, yeah, so please remember, if you enjoyed this video, to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Later.